Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Frank Pallone, Richard Neal, Bobby Scott, I want to thank you for all your hard work on the Elijah F. Cummings Lower Drug Costs Now Act. The science and innovation behind life-saving drugs is light years beyond our wildest imagination. As the medicine chest of America, New Jersey leads the way in biopharmaceutical research, which is integral to discovering life-saving treatments. But with the blessing of living longer, the curse of high costs lingers. After too many years of inaction, it falls on us to address exploding costs in the health system. Pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical innovation demands the best science, not the highest prices. But if medications are not affordable for all, how can they be life-saving? H.R. 3 is a landmark legislation that helps us address the cost crisis by allowing Medicare to negotiate fair prices for American families. We talked about this in 2009. You rejected it then, too. We should have done it then. Medicare beneficiaries, our seniors, will save $150 billion in lower premiums and out-of-pocket costs. On the top of that, Medicare Part D beneficiaries will see an average discount of nearly 55 percent on current prices of the first drugs chosen for negotiation. Our seniors will ultimately benefit from lower premiums, cost sharing, and a cap on their out-of-pocket expenses. And by the way, Medicare would finally, at long last, cover dental, hearing, vision care, service to help our seniors stay healthy instead of bumper stickers and empty promises. This legislation requires drug manufacturers to justify price increases and launch prices for drugs. By making this information public, manufacturers will be accountable. This bill also includes a reauthorization of the Health Profession Opportunity Grant Program, HPOG, to provide education and training to low-income individuals for health occupations that are in high demand or are experiencing low shortages. Yeah, no? Okay. I yield back. Thank you. Gentlemen,